Several families want answers tonight after a series of unsolved deadly shootings in the city of Detroit. Detroit police set to provide an update this week into the investigation of a Detroit mother killed outside of her neighborhood liquor store. Family and friends of Tracy Golden and other victims of gun violence all coming together tonight to call for justice. Victor Williams joins us with their message. Well, the legendary Martin Luther King once had a dream and family members with loved ones who have been taken by violence all got together in hopes of making sure that dream comes true in a different way. We take it day by day, just like we've done with all our loved ones and all we've lost. We got to take it day by day, look above, God guide us, keep us strong, keep us together. It's been a little over two weeks since 53 year old Tracy Golden was shot and killed while leaving a store on Grand River and Outer Drive. She was beautiful, loving, caring, and now we don't have her here and that's going to be tough. Her friend Laura Davis is pleading for the community to put the guns down on Martin Luther King's birthday. I have a dream that all children, boys and girls on all different colors will come together and stop killing one another. Other family and friends of loved ones taken by violence echoed the very same thing, hoping the legacy of perhaps the most influential civil rights leader can help solve and stop the deaths of others. Both of us have lost a loved one, our child took senseless gun violence. It's all way too familiar for Bertrina Body Frazier and Rose Anderson, who lost their children, Brittany Campbell and Kevin Willard. Y'all don't know how many people y'all hurt when y'all do that. You're not just hurting the person that you kill. You hurt a whole family, a whole family, a whole community. Many victims of violence were unfortunately gunned down in the same apartment complex that bears Dr. King's name. Community activist Malik Shabazz is hoping he'll bring about some change. We have many unsolved cases. That's why we're here at the Martin Luther King homes on Martin Luther King's actual birthday. And we are awaiting an official update from police regarding where things stand in this case of Tracy Golden. A lot of people are patiently waiting as well. Victor Williams, Local 4.